Hi, boys and girls. So our next writing lesson, okay, lesson two is about finding ideas and writing up a storm. Okay, so our next writer's workshop, so the structure of it, what you're going to have in this lesson is I'm going to teach you the mini lesson, so the lesson of the day. Then you're going to have time, writing time to work on the seesaw activity, and then at the end you'll share. What will you need for today's lesson? You'll need your writer's notebook, pencil or pencils. You may or may not use Post-its today. A Chromebook and a timer, and the timer should be on Seesaw if you don't have one. And then earbuds and earphone or earphones. So our goal or our target to in today's lesson is this. Today we are going to learn how to get unstuck when we are stuck without an idea to write about. So instead of being stuck, you can think of lots of moments you have shared with someone who is important to you. So you're going to pick one of those moments and write about it. So writing about someone important to you. So I want to show you an example of what I want you to do today. And you'll be able to do it in, in four steps. Okay, so step one, we're going to think of someone who you care about. And so who I care about. Then after you've picked that person, you're going to list small moments you have had together. Then you're going to choose one of those small moments to write about and then write about the moment you chose. Okay, so for example, in steps one and two, I'm going to pick one person who is important to me. I know we have more than one, but just start with one person today. And then I'm going to think of some small moments with this person. And then I'm going to write three of those small moments down. So I have a little girl here because I have chosen my niece. And her name is Amelia. Okay, so on my writer's notebook, so just like you on your writer's notebook, this is the top half of one of the pages. You're going to write today's date, which is 10 6 20. Then I'd like you to pick one person that is special and important to you. Write their name at the top. Maybe put a box around it to emphasize. And then number your lines, one, two, and three. And write out three small moments you've had with this person. So for me, I wrote down she ran and jumped off the diving board for the first time this summer. We played with Orbeez on her fifth, birth on her fifth birthday party or at her fifth birthday party. And third memory was we had a play date over the summer and we played board games, did art projects, made cookies and built Legos with her brother, my nephew. Okay, so then after I've chosen a million, I've brainstormed three um, small moments. I'm going to choose one of those moments to write about. I'm not going to change my person and change my ideas. And then I'm going to write about the moment that I chose. So writing about someone important to you. So now I need to pick one of the moments. In order to pick the moment I want to write about, I'm going to think it through a little bit. First, I'm going to ask myself which one would be interesting to read about. Then I'm going to ask myself which story would be about the right length to write about. Because if I can only fill a couple lines, that's probably not the story to pick. If all those things do not help me choose, then I'm just going to pick whichever one I want to pick at that moment. Okay, so for me, with Amelia, okay, she ran and jumped off the diving board. I think, let me go back. Maybe. Come on now, cooperate. Nope. Nope. Oh my goodness. Oh well. So here I chose number two. So I'm going to write about when we played Orbeez at her fifth birthday party. Okay. So I'm going to, oh my goodness. That's interesting to me. There. Okay, so writing about someone important to you. 
So now that I've chosen the story of her, uh, her party, I want to write, I'm going to make it the best story I have ever written by adding lots of details. I'm going to tell the reader the answers to the questions on the next slide. So when we work on telling a story, we want details so they can feel it and see it and kind of be a part. So I'm going to answer who is in the story, what is happening, when is it happening, where is it happening, why, and how is it happening. Okay, so on my same piece of paper where I had Amelia written at the top, this is the bottom half of my writer's notebook. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, okay, but I'll start. I just sat down and started writing. Apologize for the phone ringing. Last weekend was my niece Amelia's fifth birthday party. Other? Nope. Please shut the door. Just 30 seconds. I'm recording. Oh, okay. 